the best candy store. Fucking Ed's is the best. Ed's is the best. It's a shop nestled in Langley's Brookswood neighborhood, and it's going viral on social media. Fucking you and fuck your free samples, okay? We don't give no fucking shit free here in this country. <sighs> Am I really about to do this? How hard it is to do this shit, man. You are so fucking dumb. Oh my god, he can't be that crazy, right? No one fucks with me or with my business. <sighs> You're almost uh, 20 minutes late. That's your first day of work, right? I'm fucking sorry, man. man. What do you mean by sorry, man? First day of work, you should be here like at least 15 minutes fucking early. I'm off the whole fucking thing in the back there, the floor. It's always been my dream to be a successful salesman, but I was fired from my last job selling chips and this guy, Ed, was the only person that would hire me now. That's the only fucking problem hiring these new kids nowadays, man. Some of these kids are no freaking good for nothing. All the day, just have to keep eating your brain, man. Not talking about you, you keep doing your fucking shit, bro. If I can impress Ed, he's the one that can give me a chance of being a salesman. Not even fucking one minute, man. Are you already tired? This is my first Still, day. I don't care if first day or not, man. I gotta get training on all the snacks. I'm, I'm a salesman. Just shut up and fucking keep doing it. It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. This candy business is only for me, man. I am the only fucking original king of the fucking import candies and import drinks. No fucking cheap shit, okay? They've gained followers and fans across the world. I fucking love you, black people, man. They are my fucking love, man. I love you, motherfuckers, man. I fucking really love you, assholes. You just start doing it as a fun. You make another one and that goes viral. That bull gives you wings. <laughs> Then make another one, that goes viral. All the kids come in the store, they love me. All the kids live in the neighborhood, they love me. Grab it from there and then fill it up all nicely here. You fucking grab it and then I'll fill it up. I'm the boss here, don't fucking tell me what to do. This is fucking bullshit. I'm fucking the best. Ed said I have a bunch of tasks to do before I can try and make a sale. I fucking hate old people. I'm a very nice person, like very, very gentleman. How hard it is to do this shit, man. You are so fucking dumb. You, you are such color blind fucking shit. Day and you didn't even show me how to do it. I'm a color blind man. Even I can do a better job than you, you fucking. <gasps> I'm really trying my best out there. I, it's really hard. I've always kind of struggled at jobs and stuff. You seem a little scared out there. Like uh... I am kind of scared. I don't really know what's happening. If I start counting. Pay fucking attention here, you! Keep your fucking eyes and the brain open. Dumb fuck and he never listens and uh, now he's trying to be fucking over smart in front of me so I wanna fucking kick his bumby. I'm not just a dumb kid. I wanted to prove Ed wrong so badly from the beginning. I'm gonna teach you some stuff right off the bat. Okay, let's see. All these chips, they need to be faced. Yes, yeah, you got that right. No wonder they fucking fire you. What was it, Lays or Old Dutch? Lays. I want people to buy something because of my skills. That's what I find fun. And after doing a few more tasks, I was able to convince Ed to give me a chance. How often do you eat pickles? Oh, not that often. Really? It's a lot more girthy than a regular pickle. Yeah. So it's gonna fill up more circumference in your mouth. Yeah. So you're getting more food, pretty much. Oh my gosh. Getting... Oh man, no, no. Oh, oh man, that's like freaking, <laughs> see? That's so gross, man. You fucking sell him a pickle. Fucking new kids nowadays, they suck, dude. It's my first day. I completely blew it. I fucked it. I realized quickly that Ed didn't really believe in me and I couldn't just jump to doing what he does right away. So that's when I knew I had a challenge. But it sparked a fire in me. I needed to sell a pickle. Do it, man. You don't have all day, right? Seven dollars, please. Use your fucking words. Thank you. If I sold a pickle, I knew Ed would be proud of me. But uh, yeah, I'll be honest. I uh, lost motivation pretty quickly. Did you pay for this? No. You fucking eating the dill pickle? I didn't even pay for that. I work here. Work here doesn't mean you can fucking get the shit free, buddy. Nothing Lunch. is fucking free in this world, man. You know that. Uh. Okay. This fucking guy can't do one thing properly. Go on the counter, pay faster. You fucking just love dill pickle. That's what the problem is. You fucking guy. I just don't know. He's this guy might be the craziest boss I've ever seen in my life. This dude is insane. Freaking 10 degrees outside, man. Look at the hoodie and a jacket and toque you're wearing. Are you freaking out of your mind or some shit, dude? You're in BC, not in Alaska, you fucking guy. Oh, sorry, I didn't see the kids there. I don't like happy customers at all. So, do I get to swear at the kids too? No, you don't. Just fucking pay attention to your shit, okay? Okay. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy to impress Ed, but I knew if I just kept going, I would get another chance at making a sale. Why are you so fucking dumb, man? This way, this way, this way, right there. I just show you that all the candies, imported candies, are all on this side, man. The fucking chips on that side, are you blind or what? Dude, it's my first day. Sometimes uh, come home in the middle of the night, come back home in India, you know, that beat the shit out of you. So that was normal. Talk to your boys out there. Hard to work with these kids nowadays, man. I fucking know. nothing up there. I know. Smoke so much dope all the day, probably. 
I thought this was gonna be fun and a joke, but it's actually starting to get like actually insane. I think I wanna I wanna beat the shit out of him. My classmates say they beat the shit out of me, but that's okay. That never fucking stop me. One more hour of work, and then you can have a break. Store is uh, this. Uh, it's like a home, man. I'm here all the time, basically. I spend a half of my most of my life here. This store gives me every single thing, so I just freaking love this place, you know. What the fuck? You want me to send you home forever? Move your fucking ass and do something. Oh man, he was the laziest fuck I've ever seen in my whole life, man. Makes me so fucking itchy. This guy came in with the machete and for a pack of smokes, he wants me to freaking give him and all, all blah, 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 blah. You know, there's too much drugs in the brain. Who is stealing? I will hunt them down and find them. I'm the best employee. I will hunt them down. Told him nicely, two, three times, and then he's gone. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Relax. No okay. one steals from Ed. When someone came in the store and tried to steal something, I wanted to show Ed that I was a ride or die. How are you, buddy? <laughs> I heard your TikTok famous. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just got out of jail. Oh. My girlfriend, my baby mama, my Damn. son's mother. My dad called me talking tough. All I said was, hey bro, I love you, but if you swing on me, I'm gonna pound the piss out of you. This was my moment. This was the perfect target. Somebody's gonna pick this thing up. Keep an eye on them. Oh. Hey! Yeah! Stop that! Good job! Put back. that back right now or you're going to jail! That's what I want you to do. Fucking like right. Something coming in the brain. Now. I didn't know what to do. Try and make Ed happy or try and make a sale. Remember I told you before too, I don't like people who fucking steal, man. Those motherfuckers. I should have told you you'd throw a pickle at him. I finally had the chance to try and make a sale here. I was just wondering if, Steven. if, if you wanted some pickles. For free? No, um, because we're just not. Nah. He didn't even let me get to my fucking sales pitch. I couldn't catch a break. What the hell is wrong with this guy, man? All day he just talks about pickle. Nothing will stop me from selling a pickle today. I just gotta put in the work. And that's all Ed ever wanted from me. I thought everything should be free without having to work for it. But what Ed taught me is... Nothing fucking free in this world, man. I'm not giving you any fucking free sample, man. Nothing is free in this world, man. You have to be nice with him, okay? Because he's, uh, I think I start liking him a little bit. I had a feeling we might be friends. Ed isn't a bad boss at all. I was a bad employee. All he ever did was push me to be better. And he turned me from a janitor into a salesman. You heard that right. A salesman. Finally. Ma'am, show the pickle. Are you serious? You sold that to her or she just took that by herself? I, fucking lie, man. I, I sold the pickle. Tell him I sold the pickle. Thank you so much. <laughs> First good sale Let's of the day. Go. This girl doesn't know what she just did for me. She made the entire day of hell worth it. I could finally call myself a salesman. Welcome to Ed's in Brookswood. Now we are friends, okay? Oh I want you to do a fucking good job. I have no fucking goal, man. I just fucking live day by day, every fucking single second, man. I don't fucking dream about future, sir. You don't dream about hitting a million followers? No, no, I don't want to fucking hit any of those shit, man. Whatever is gonna fucking come, it's gonna come by itself, man. You're like the master of living the present moment. Yeah, that's what it is, man. I don't want to fucking think about the next coming two days. You never know, man. But if you're gonna fucking die tomorrow, what are you gonna do with a million followers? Shove it in your fucking ass, then jump all night. <laughs>